So DigiKey basically challenged us to make the ultimate electronics workstation. Let's start unboxing it. Look at all the cardboard. Hey guys, I'm the Hacksmith. On our YouTube channel, we take fictional ideas from comics, movies, and video games and make real working prototypes. In fact, we're trying to take our company, Hacksmith Industries, and turn it into the closest thing to real life Stark Industries. Wake up, Daddy Show. We've got an amazing machine shop, just like Tony Stark. Hey, stop spacing out. The Bridgeport's already machining that part. We've got a sweet sign out front, just like Stark Industries. I've got the same Kinetic sculpture as Pepper Potts. Can I move this? This is this is crazy. I'm, it's like a Ferris wheel going. I'm trying. No. To... We've got an amazing backlit logo on the wall, just like Avengers HQ. Heck, I'm getting a bit scruffy, but usually I rock a Tony Stark look. I don't know if you can tell, but I have like patterned my whole look after you. I've got an armory of projects, just like Tony Stark's suit room. Hey Jarvis, turn off the lights. We've even got our own home automation system, just like Jarvis. Plus, we have our very own Butterfingers, Dummy the Robot. I've even got cap shield and storage, though I should probably give that back to him. Honestly, you have to get out of the garage before Morgan takes it sledding. But you know what this facility is still missing? The ultimate electronics lab. Kind of like the workshop that Tony gave that kid at the end of Iron Man 3. Wow. So, DigiKey, one of our longest standing partners of the channel, challenged us to make an electronics workstation worthy of Stark himself. That's how America does it. And it's worked out pretty well so far. We've got the space. DigiKey's gonna hook us up with the equipment, tools, and supplies to continue making amazing Make It Real projects for you and further our journey in becoming a real life Stark Industries. We got like three or four of these. It's gonna be this massive, awesome workbench. And the other ones are made too. It's a oh. cabinet. That's so much easier. I thought we were gonna have to assemble all these. And welcome to the first episode of the Hacksmith Home Improvement Show. All right, so we just got all the boxes in from DigiKey and they've sent us so much equipment. We're talking soldering irons, rework stations, power supplies, oscilloscopes, full sets of Arduinos, capacitors, resistors. Let's start unboxing it. So DigiKey basically challenged us to make the ultimate electronics workstation. That's what we're about to do. The first piece of equipment we unboxed is a super awesome Hakko soldering set. It's got uh, a solder air sucker, really powerful soldering iron, as well as a hot air gun. Yep. The trick is, if you have a nice soldering iron, soldering is actually really easy to do. So with these, it's gonna make soldering a freaking breeze. Unbox some more equipment. So this is a waveform generator, and for testing electronics and making stuff like pulse modulation, testing servos, this thing is perfect. It's really, really nice for protecting electronics. If you don't have your tools properly organized, you're gonna take way longer to do projects. And that's why having kits like these that have all the tools neatly organized saves you so much time. Hey, okay, there's licorice in here. Licorice? Okay, well you get to eat half and I'll eat the other half. Perfect. That way if it's poisonous, we both die. Ooh, almost dropped that on the garbage. Oh god! Licorice <laughs> <laughs> not supposed to be crunchy! <laughs> In DigiKey's defense, this is another company that sends licorice in their product. This is a really nice microscope, complete with HDMI out, which means we guys we can actually show you detailed uh, circuit boards, circuit boards, the parts we're using. In case you haven't noticed, DigiKey is amazing, and they have two-day shipping. So when you need components. You can get them, and they're actually like not more expensive or anything. And we've got detailed circuit diagrams for every component you could possibly want uh, on their website. 140 watt soldering iron. Look at the size of that thing. This is twice as powerful as the soldering irons we have there. Whoa, resistor kit in a bind. Whoa, yeah, surface, surface mount, mount resistors. resistors. If you look at the size of those resistors, if they're not properly sorted, you will never be able to tell what goes where and which one you're looking for. This is a high voltage, high current power system. So this thing, for example, allows to test like the MRAX motor, right, which runs at 125 volts, right? Mm -hmm. Where you can't get 125 volts without having like a dozen batteries. 
All right, so we've successfully unboxed everything, which means now uh, we have a lot of organizing to do. Look at all the cardboard. We have a lot of recycling to do. So as part of building our DigiKey workstation, we're gonna have to make an awesome DigiKey sign for the wall, preferably something backlit. So we got a vector image file, which I've opened up in Adobe Illustrator. And what we can actually do with this is export straight to DXF. We can then open it in SaltWorks. So now we have the vector outline of the sign, which means we can break this down into different layers that we're gonna then laser cut out of colored acrylic. What I wanna be able to do is have multiple different layers so they actually fit inside of each other almost like a puzzle piece because I'll make assembling it and making sure all the pieces are perfectly centered and straight a lot easier. So since we're actually cutting these all out of plastic, they're all gonna fit perfectly because they're the same material. So what we should end up with is a nice snug fit for everything and call it a day. All right, let's laser cut this sign. So I've loaded up the white plastic. Let's go ahead and give that a cut. All right, there is the final piece. All right, let's see what Bogdan thinks about the new sign. Hey, Bogdan. Wow, that's actually really nice. The DigiKey Ultimate so Workstation. Now, we just need to make that sign backlit. <gasps> Yay! All right. Uh, solder me a lead to that, and then we'll uh, stick around here. Ta -da! The ultimate electronics workstation. All right, so this is the main electronics workbench, and we've got some brand new equipment, which I'm really excited to show you. Uh, starting off with some Hackle soldering and SMD rework equipment. We've got a three iron soldering station. We've got a small iron for regular precision work a high power iron for things like bullet connectors, a desolder sucker for taking apart circuit boards and stuff, as well as a really awesome hot air station. Let's say you've got a circuit board you're working on and you need to pull off a broken component. This thing is pretty awesome. It'll actually get really, really hot, hot enough to melt solder, and that little nozzle in the middle is actually a vacuum pump, so you can use it to pick up components off the board. We also have a full set of electronics equipment, such as a desktop power supply, frequency generator, and an oscilloscope. We're working on projects like this plasma gauntlet coming up on Make It Real. In addition, we've got a really nice digital microscope for doing really, really fine precision surface mount devices, like looking at that tiny little capacitor over there. Oh, wow. And since our team is continuously growing, we've actually got more workbenches than one. Here, we have a second setup, and this one has a really high power power supply for texting giant motors. And a full second set of soldering equipment. We've got convenient access to all sizes of wires and a whole range of 3D printers, including LulzBots, which you can get from DigiKey. And around the corner, we've got another full set of electronics working equipment for a future intern, which could be you. And then we've got every component you could ever need, including things like connectors, switches, heat shrink, wire working equipment, power supplies, LEDs, RC equipment, mechanical servos and linkages, high voltage, fuses and breakers, voltage regulation, step down converters, potentiometers, resistors, diodes, thermistors, capacitors, inductors, wiring of all different shapes and sizes. We got soldering equipment, solder flux, uh, solder wick, and a bunch of accessories. And you can't forget about all the hand tools that are required for this kind of stuff. A full life fix it kit with a bunch of tweezers and little scaffolds and stuff like that, as well as a full set of pliers and screwdrivers that are fully insulated to up to a thousand volts. All right, we did it. We built the ultimate workstation that even Stark would use himself. It's got all the tools and supplies that we need to keep making these awesome Make It Real projects for you, making even better ones. I can't wait to have more Hacksmith interns working in this awesome lab.
Big thank you to DigiKey for providing us with all these amazing tools and supplies. If you want to see a full list of all the products we use, check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.